attributes that Colton Pullman has that uh, um, made him uh, the player's full time for captain? I believe it's everything he does on and off the ice. You know, when you look at a captain, it uh, encapsulates you know what you do when people are watching, what you do when people aren't watching, and uh, he does it to the highest degree. Um, he, he's focused, he's detailed, he's hardworking, he leads by example on the ice and in the locker room and in the weight room. He takes charge, and uh, that's what a leader does. Um, to get to the level that we want to get to, your best players or your leaders have to be the top guys and do it on a daily basis. That's the bar they have, and, and whatever bar that is, and that's going to be at the highest level, uh, the rest of the players follow and get to that level. So he has an extremely high bar, and we're looking forward to him to keep raising it this year. Nick Jones has only been here one year. What, uh, what impressions did he leave that let him just be in the game? Well, again, you know, for him to, to wear a letter this year, he did a lot of great things in his first year. Um, you know, he's one of those vocal leaders that, uh, that keeps players accountable, uh, that, that exemplifies leadership on the ice. But also, you know, when things are going great, everybody, you know, it's easy when everything's going great, but when everything's kind of going sideways a little bit or you're not having a lot of success at a certain time of the season, he brings things into perspective and he holds people accountable and, and that's what a leader does. And uh, he came into our program late in his college career, you know, uh, being in Ohio State, going back to junior, coming in and, and to, um, you know, get voted as a captain. That says a lot about a guy being only here one year. As far as the leadership style that Colton brings, what can maybe fans expect to see from Colton this year as a captain? Well, I think the first thing is, is, is just because you got named captain, don't put that added pressure on you to change the way you do things on the ice. You know, I think he's he's uh, he's done a lot of a lot of really good things on the ice and was a very impactful player for us last year and his college career here. But that added pressure, uh, don't let it get to your game on the ice. Obviously, there's there's added responsibilities that he'll have to do in and around the rink and you know in the community. But uh, it's something that he'll embrace and 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 one of those things that that help you grow as a person and as a player. And we always talk about the players that come through our program here. You know, it's one thing to develop physically and mentally as a player, but it's the other thing to, to gain in those leadership, leadership qualities that you, you like to attain before you leave here to the next level. And now he has an opportunity to work on his leadership skills to, before he does get to that next level.